This is Cubs Pre-Game Live, presented by Fields Auto Group. Well, an absolutely gorgeous day at the great Wrigley Field. Most beautiful ballpark in baseball. We'll see the Cubs and the Pirates. Game two of a three-game set. Cubs coming off a pounding of Pittsburgh yesterday. And they'll see if they can continue to have their winning ways here at Wrigley Field on NBC Sports Chicago. And good afternoon. Welcome in with my longtime partner, David DeJesus. I'm David Kaplan. Yesterday, the offense showed up, and John Lester struggled, literally settled down beautifully. The offense picked him up. Yes, the offense, after that tough inning, that first half of the, of the game, okay, couldn't get outs, making bad plays behind them, down 4 nothing. Us sitting there watching the game, the fans are like, oh, no, here we go again. That Cassiano's two-run shot brought life back into this team. And then Contreras' homer, Nico Horner, to give them that lead going after the first inning. What a start. And they kept pouring it on. That's what good teams do. They're able to keep putting pressure on the defense, keep hitting homers. They got to continue that today. All right, let's take a look at a board of how the Cubs have fared over the last 17 games. They are 10 and 7. That is not probably good enough. If you look yeah. at that board, though, it tells a bigger story. In the last 10 wins, 7.8 runs per game and a 2.40 team ERA. In the seven losses, just 2.29 runs per game and a 4.80 ERA in five of the seven losses to the Brewers. Yeah, they got to be able to come back today. And usually the last couple of years I've been here with you, we watched when they have an explosion game, they usually put a one or a two. Today, they have the right guy on the mounds, but they got to be able to score some runs. You got to stack games where the offense, you rely on that offense to score, especially at home, they hit well here. With the wind blowing out today, they got to take advantage of that. Big time. All right, time for our Miller Light game report. The third member of our team, as always, she is the great Kelly Crow. Kells, we've got everybody scoreboard watching, not just us, the players as well. Yeah, I think the players are doing some glancing at the scoreboard during the game, no doubt about it, or certainly checking in after they take care of business, which really is first and foremost for them with nine games left in this critical last homestand for them and I thought Anthony Rizzo really said said it best last night after the game to me it's no secret what's at stake here but what he loved most about how this team played yesterday and really set the tone in the opener against the Pirates he said we were fearless and that is the tone and that is the vibe in the dugout that they want going forward we heard Joe Madden talk about feeling like they may have been playing uptight in San Diego that is not what it felt like certainly in the dugout yesterday and you you had to wonder after what happened happened in the top of the first, but the way they responded was certainly then all they needed to take care of business yesterday. But as many know at home watching this show, there is a big series going on down the road as the Cardinals host the Brewers. So who are you supposed to be rooting for? Well, I asked a couple guys this morning. Somebody brought it up to me. I didn't even know they were playing. Okay, um, so there's you got that. And then uh, second of all, um, you know, our goal is to win the division. So you want any kind of help you could possibly get to win the division. So that would be that the Brewers would beat the Cardinals. But I, again, it doesn't matter. Just the Cubs win, Cubs win. We just got to take care of our own uh, house. And if you do that, this is all going to work out properly. I'm going to go earmuffs. We don't give a <laughs> about what anybody else is doing. Um, you know, we, we have enough fun right here with, with, with our group. We know what we can control. And after that, you know, we, we, we leave it all up to you know, whatever else is going on. But that's, that's, not, that's out of our hands. And, um, you know, we've, we've done a lot of winning here, uh, unfortunately, and, and it, that's fun to be a part of, but along with that is not worrying about what anybody else is doing, and, and, that, and that's the fun part of this job and fun part of being with a group of guys like this here. I'm not sure if that helps you at home, whether you're going Brewers or Cardinals, but Jason Hayward brings up a very good point with some strong comments there saying, it's really just up to them. They have to keep winning no matter what else happens. That's really the only way they get to where they want to be and continue this playoff pushing and, of course, be playing in October. Now, Nico Horner, guys, you talked a little bit about him. Uh, the story continues. The boost he's giving this clubhouse. There he was in his Wrigley Field debut, first A.B., first pitch. And he goes deep. And this afternoon, I'm pretty excited. We're going to get a chance to talk to his mom. A lot of his family members and friends were in the stands for that. And we'll get to hear from them during the game. So please stay tuned. 
All right, thanks very much, Kels. Looking forward to a fun day today here on an absolutely sun-splashed afternoon with Kyle Hendricks on the hill. So the Cubs get one of their best, and they get a chance to see him. He could be as good as he's been all year long at home, where he has an ERA under two. All right, our Joe Stonecraft. What's at stake, and what's at stake are the standings in the NL Central and in the wild card. And if you look at the numbers, you got 15 games to go. Cubs are four back of St. Louis, one game ahead of Milwaukee in the Central, and a game up on Milwaukee for the second wild card spot. Two and a half games behind Washington, who was shut out in Atlanta by Mike Soroka, who gave up one hit over seven dominant innings. So you got a chance to maybe run Washington down. They're going to battle St. Louis in yeah. the next series. You got a chance to hold off the Brewers. Just got to go out and play good baseball. And, that, and it doesn't matter, really, if, if you're a player, you win your baseball game, that then you watch the scoreboard. But it doesn't matter because if we do our business, the Cubs players handle their business, they will be in good shape. They already have the second wild card lineup if they if, if they win out their games. So they just got to go out there. These teams they should beat. They got to be able to beat them at home before the Cardinals come into town. Yeah, you got to take out Pittsburgh. You got, no disrespect to the no. Pirates. They're not in your league. And, and with Josh Bell out of the, probably the lineup as well. We came at, came up lame yesterday. Yeah. That was a big piece for them. Not having them, you can't let up against this lineup. You can't let that lineup beat you today with one of your aces on the mound. Yeah, absolutely, 100 percent. Time for our fan poll question brought to you by the Fields Auto Group. Go to NBCSportsChicago.com slash vote. The question is, what will the eventual fate be of the Chicago Cubs? Win the division, win the wild card, or miss the playoffs? Go to NBCSportsChicago.com slash vote to weigh in. You know, five weeks ago, yeah. I said, I don't think this team's making the playoffs. Well, since then, they've gotten Zobris back. Yeah. Castellanos has been just a monster. Yeah. I don't know if they can run St. Louis down. I hope yeah. they can. But I think that they should be able to get this wild card spot. Yes, I think the wild card is their best bet to get in because St. Louis is playing good baseball. They're at home right now, and they have one of the best pitchers in the game in Flaherty. So he's going to get three or four more starts, and he's going to get two against the, the Cubs. So if they can beat him then, him, then they have a shot. But right now, it might be the best to get that wild card and just, hey, one game. You never know what can happen in one game. Yeah, you can get an outstanding pitching performance, but exactly. you probably have to deal with one of Scherzer, Strasburg, yeah. <laughs> Corbin. Yeah. That is That's not tough. An easy thing. You played in a wild card. Yeah. What is that like? It's, it's nerve wracking because every little thing means so much. It's, it was fun. You before you walk in when you're walking into that game. It was on TBS. I think they had everyone waving those flags. And I remember watching football games, and that was the first time actually being in a game with the whole place waving those flags, those little terrible towels, those white towels in Cleveland. Man, it was fun, but going after winning that game, shutting the the whole crowd was silent after we won it. We're just jumping around, having a great time. Nothing better than winning on the road in that wild card it's game. Like winning game seven of the World <laughs> Series. <laughs> Cleveland fans are like, what just happened? Now? What do we do now? Yeah. What do we do? I'll never forget that day. All right, let's take a look at our pitching matchup, our bona fide starting pitching matchup today. And I'll let you talk first about Kyle Hendricks because this guy's a stud. What he has done this year is added another pitch in his mix. You know that fastball changeup combination are deadly enough. Now he's added that curveball in. He's throwing it for strikes, and now it's a third pitch that hitters have to worry about. That's why he's dominant at home. I don't know why he hasn't been dominant on the road. He's a guy that you pretty much rely on to know that your team has a chance to win the game. On the road, he hasn't done that. I don't get it. I don't get it, right? Either. For whatever reason, it hasn't worked, but a 177 ERA yeah. here at Wrigley. James Marvel is not a guy who has a long track record in the big leagues. Throws hard. Yeah. He's obviously an accomplished guy to get to this level, but this is a guy you should handle here. Yes, with Rizzo at the top line, it's setting the tone. This guy hasn't pitched in big games with the Cubs crowd here. There's some pressure. When you step on that mound at Wrigley Field, there you feel that pressure. 
So can he respond to that? That'll be fun to watch, but the Cubs should win this game today. With everything lining up the way it is, they should be able to handle the, this Pirates team. All right, we'll hear from Anthony Rizzo next. Let's take you through the lineups for the Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. With David DeJesus, I'm David Kaplan. You are watching our Fields Auto Group Cubs pregame live, live here at the ballpark. Cubs pregame live is presented by Fields Auto Group. Fields matters because you matter. See Fields first. FieldsAuto.com. It's Mini from Lincoln Park to Highland Park and beyond. And now we have you covered with Mini of Chicago and the all-new Mini of Glencoe North Shore. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. Better selection, better prices, better service. Not only are we bigger, our Minis are bigger too like the new 2019 Mini Countryman. Our bigger sports activity vehicle and every new Mini in both locations come with one low price to celebrate our grand opening. Mini of Chicago and the new Mini of Glencoe North Shore. Hey, I'm celebrity home improvement expert Frank Fontana, and I deal with a lot of heating and air conditioning issues. Did you know that a dirty furnace can lead to higher utility bills and costly breakdowns? That's why when it comes to my comfort, I trust the experts at Four Seasons. Our furnace tune-up includes a 30-point inspection and complete cleaning. Hey, peace of mind for the entire winter is only a tune-up away, especially with our one-year no-breakdown guarantee. So join myself and over 250,000 families who trust their comfort to Four Seasons. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASONS. While America celebrated the fall of Prohibition, Jim Beam didn't raise a single glass. He wanted his first drink to be of his own bourbon. He didn't have much money, but he did have a few friends, people who were raised the right way. Over 120 days, they rebuilt the distillery. And while their names might not be on our bottle, it's because of them we can raise this bourbon today. Jim Beam, raised right. I like it hot. I like it sweet. Make it cheesy. I like it dipped. Baptize it. South side. North side. There's only one thing we can agree on. Bona, Bona beef. beef. Bona, the original Italian beef. We cater, you party. Is your business still settling for slow internet? Well, time is money. Switch to Comcast Business Now and get a great deal on fast, reliable internet with a 30-day money-back guarantee, installation when it works for you, and 24-7 customer support. So what are you waiting for? Get the fast, reliable internet your business really needs. Call 1-800-501-6000 today. Comcast Business. Beyond fast. Chicago, you've got great taste. Thanks for making us your number one beer. Miller Lite, hold true. Three and two with two outs. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. A no hitter. Carlos Zambrano has no hit. The Houston Astros. So that was back on this day in 2008. Cubs were rolling to a 97-win season that would end in the NLDS, unfortunately. But because of hurricane conditions in Houston, the Astros had to play a home game in Milwaukee in a half-empty Miller Park against the Cubs. And Carlos Zambrano was simply magnificent. Then. And that's pretty much a home game for the Cubs. Just right up the road, you're sleeping at your place. Tough for Houston to go over there and win a ball game, but that's a hitter's park. That's pretty special for Z. His stuff was electric, man. A big dude on the mound, a menacing figure coming at you with his stuff. I mean, it's one of those games that you remember as a pitcher. He was a stud, and he can rake too. He can absolutely rake, but I'll never forget, as you saw that last pitch, hearing Len Casper, it's a no-hitter. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking at it going, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He just actually threw a no-no here yeah. against a really good team exactly. that had a lot of talent in that lineup. All right, it's time for our starting lineups for today. Anthony Rizzo 
back where he belongs right now at the top of the Cubs lineup card that Joe Madden will bring to home plate. It's Rizzo, Castellanos is in right, Bryant at third, Schwarber in left, Contreras catches, Zobrist at second, Hayward in center, Nico Horner in the eight hole is at short, Kyle Hendricks is on the bump. Rizzo, according to Joe Madden, the leadoff man for the foreseeable future. He has a 1.016 career OPS as a leadoff hitter. Highest in MLB history with a minimum of 200 plate appearances. Can't argue with the results or the 2-0 record since the switch and 21 runs scored. You gotta love what he's doing up there. He's bringing an approach to the plate. He's battling, getting on base, hitting homers. So I like this lineup they have right now. This is a winning lineup going forward, and you just gotta have these guys keep producing, keep having fun, don't play too tight. If you look at their lineup, you should be able to win this game, but don't overlook this team, because they can come back and hit a few homers with the wind blowing out today, get a couple out, hey. So you just gotta stay in yourselves, play the game you're gonna play, and play loose and have fun. All right, here is the lineup if you look for the Pirates. Kevin Newman is going to lead off, but there's no Josh Bell in this lineup. There's yeah. no Starling Marte in this lineup. There's no Melky Cabrera in this lineup. Yeah. Look at the, the card, Brian Reynolds, Colin Moran, Osuna, Frazier, Reyes, Kramer, Diaz will be in the lineup. He'll be catching today, and James Marble will be on them on the right-hander. So, again, yeah. Yeah. That lineup versus this lineup, you can't lose this game. And that's what we said about when they were in Milwaukee. You saw they said that when they were in San Diego, you can't slip on these teams. You can't give, you gotta get on of them early and often. And put them away early. Let them think that they're going to lose the game early on in this game. Uh, let's also talk about Nico Horner. Nico Horner was on his couch in San Diego <laughs> and got a phone call. He was in Oakland, the team in San Diego. Yeah. He gets a phone call. Jason McLeod says, hey, kid, you ready to play? Addison Russell's in concussion protocol. Javi's done for the regular season at least. We need a shortstop. He said, let's do it. And he's been nothing short of sensational. I love the confidence that he has hearing from Joe Madden just speaking about he believes that he can play in this game. He belongs. He believes he belongs here. And nothing better than a confident player. So when you're young, when you have the guys behind you, just say, hey, you belong here. There's nothing better. You can go out there, be yourself, and just let it loose. And you're watching him, a loose player, establish, establishing himself as a big leaguer. Yeah, he now doesn't have to wonder about going next year to Arizona going, what do you think? Can I play here? Yeah. No, I can play here. Exactly. In big games, he was able to hit a home run yesterday, his first career. He had a big night in his major league debut in San Diego. Yeah. And I think the most impressive part of the whole deal is he's been flawless in the field. Exactly. His throws are getting better. He had a couple where Rizzo helped him that first game, but he's moving his feet, working with Butterfield right now, their third base coach. He's helping him out, so he is growing as a player, and he's blossoming right in front of us. It's fun to watch. Yeah, we'll see how this all shakes out, but Cubs had high hopes for him as their first round draft pick a year ago and thought maybe he can be our starting second baseman in 2020, maybe. I think it's a pretty much a done deal. <laughs> he will be the starting second baseman with Javi at short. Exactly, and Javi is going to be the shortstop if he's here. And that's a nice little combination right there. Nico to and Javi to Nico, Nico to Javi to Riz. It's not a bad thing. It's solid up the middle, athletic as well. So these guys just got to get that, that time together. That'll happen if Javi gets back at the end of the season or next spring. So he just got to continue to play. Don't look forward. Just look at today's game, get better, and have fun. We call that one batter, one pitch, oh, one out at a time. From Riz, right? Riz? Yeah. <laughs> trying to teach you guys that. Yeah. All right, we've got to take a time out. We'll come back. We have got our key performers. This guy has a key to the game, and we'll get you off to Lennon JD. That's right, Cubs and Pirates right here on NBC Sports Chicago. We'll be right back. It's Mini, from Lincoln Park to Highland Park and beyond. And now, we have you covered with Mini of Chicago and the all-new Mini of Glencoe North Shore. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. Better selection, better prices, better service. Not only are we bigger, our Minis are bigger too, like the new 2019 Mini Countryman. Our bigger sports activity vehicle and every new Mini in both locations come with one low price to celebrate our grand opening. Mini of Chicago and the new Mini of Glencoe North Shore. Is your business still settling for slow internet? 
Well, time is money. Switch to Comcast Business Now and get a great deal on fast, reliable internet with a 30-day money-back guarantee, installation when it works for you, and 24-7 customer support. So what are you waiting for? Get the fast, reliable internet your business really needs. Call 1-800-501-6000 today. Comcast Business. Beyond fast. At Farmers Insurance, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Even a... Lost rubber ducky? You mean this one? <gasps> Rubber ducky! What about the broken cookie jar? Again, cookie? Yeah, me bad. Ah! Oh! What about monsters having accidents? I am okay, by the way. Depends. Did you cause the accident? Cause an accident? Maybe. How do you know all this stuff? Just comes with experience. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. I like it hot. I like it. Sweet. Make it cheesy. I like it dipped. Baptize it. South side. North side. There's only one thing we can agree on. Bona, Bona beef. Bona, the original Italian beef. We cater, you party. It would break your heart to see what we pull out of here every day. Hey, you guys need some help? No way. Sure. Uh, yeah. JJ what? What's up, man? How's it going? Check it out, man. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? We're just doing the right thing. What's the dream? My dream is for people to think twice before they throw something out. Great play, baby. I appreciate you having me out. You can swing a mean net, man. <laughs> America's oil and gas moves through 2.4 million miles of underground pipelines safely. But one of those pipelines were gone we would need 90,000 more tanker trucks or 27,000 more rail cars every single day just to meet our energy needs. So, do you want this, this, or this? We move America's energy. We are Energy Transfer. Xfinity is the official Wi-Fi provider for Wrigley Field and Gallagher Way. Fans can access free Wi-Fi in and around Wrigley Field, so save your data and connect now. Xfinity, the exclusive Wi-Fi provider of Wrigley Field and your Chicago Cubs. All right, welcome back with David DeJesus. I'm David Kaplan. So Gary Pressey, who has been a fixture here for years at the Oregon, is retiring after this season. Hasn't missed a game in his Cubs career. Wow. Gary announced today that he will be hanging it up and moving on to something else in his life. And I just want to, you know, wish yeah. him all the best. That guy was phenomenal. That sounds that he put through this yeah. ballpark were amazing. Exactly. Now, now it's so technical. They have all this stuff. But before, I think 2011, 2012, it was just him playing his stuff. Man, he kept the, the fans involved and he kept things going. So uh, thank you, Gary, for all your support on what you contributed to this organization. All right, let's also talk about Nicholas Castellanos. He tied Hank Sauer for the most home runs in their first 40 games as a Chicago Cup. Nicholas, 15 in 40 games. Hank Sauer came over in 1949 from the Reds. He also had 15 in 40 games. Look, I don't know where he's going to end up. If yeah. I was running the baseball side, and I never will be, I would figure out a way to have him in my lineup because I like his energy, I like his attitude, how he plays, and I think he's a beast of a hitter. Since he's come over here, this team was searching for an identity, for a hitter to really just come in and lead the way. That's what he's done. And I, I got into some stats. It, between the first and third inning, this guy is hitting 341 with 18 homers and around 40 ribbies. So he starts the game on fire. He gives you that energy burst early on. That's stats for his whole year this year. So he's a guy that gets early, gets on board, puts the puts your, your, your gets a one run on the board and just puts you on his back early on, then lets everyone else settle in. But this guy has been a big pickup, probably the best big best pickup free agent or the deadline pickup we've seen for the Cubs other than Camels last year but this guy has been a stud he's brought so much to this team yeah, if you look around baseball I would probably say a position player for sure yeah he's the best deadline addition any team in the game made in 2019 yeah. you know, and the Cubs have been very fortunate Theo and Jen have hit home runs on three great yes. pickups they made yes. that would be a Chapman 
Cole Hamels yeah. a year ago, yeah. and then this de uh, decision to bring Nicholas Castellanos here, he's going to get paid. Don't, doesn't matter what. He has Boris. Boris is going to get his money, but the Cubs would love to have him back. Seeing him here, hit here for a full season, that would be fun to watch. Absolutely. All right, let's take a look again at our fan poll. You'll see the results tabulate on your screen. What's going to be the eventual outcome for this Cubs team after the final 15 games are in the books? Are they the division champ of the Central? Are they a wild card team? Or, heaven forbid, are they sitting at home? 49% of you said they are going to run the Cardinals down Ooh. and win the division. I hope I like you it. are right. They have opportunities. Seven out of the last ten. They got to get hot and they got to win the games leading into those two appearances against the Cardinals. All right, we have got to get your key to the game. What's the most important thing today? I'm going to say let's go gloat. The greatest leadoff hitter of all time. He set the tone these last couple games, and I like what he's doing at the leadoff spot. He's getting on base for the guys behind him. So if he sets the tone the right way, they score, or score early and often, they should be able to win today. He calls himself the greatest leadoff hitter of all time. He also has told me, yeah, I'd rather hit in the four hole. Yeah. But he's a guy that has changed his approach yeah. when he is at the top of the lineup. How hard is it to be a leadoff guy versus a power guy? I mean, it's tough because it's two different approaches. But with Rizzo, he already chokes up with two strikes. So that's what he does normally. So he's gonna he's gonna eat those first two pitches, those pitches, those opportunities to go. He's trying to leave the yard, impact the baseball. But with, when he gets the two strikes, he shortens up. That's why he can do both. He is that type of hitter. He works in any lineup, in any spot in the lineup. All right, time for our key performers. I'm supposed to pick first since I clinched the season <laughs> yesterday. I'll let you have it first. Hey, Riz. Keep it going, baby. I want to see you be the greatest leadoff hitter of all time. All right, he goes Anthony Rizzo. I'm going to go Kyle Schwarber. I like the pick. I like the pick, but uh, I look at the flag. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, exactly. Anybody <laughs> on any given day can hit a home run, but on a day like today, yeah. these guys can get the ball to the yes. jet stream, and it's going to go. Oh, definitely. Just got to get underneath the ball a little bit, but don't think about it. Don't try to do it. Just let it happen, and these guys have been doing all year. They would lie on the home run. It's time to get it going again back at home. All right, we'll see how Kyle Hendricks fares. ERA of 177 when he steps on the mound here. Beautiful Wrigley Field. We will be back in the studio with the post-game show. Weather sensational. The Cubs are moving on up. They now have the lead in the wild card. Can they hunt down the Cardinals? We'll try and take another step today. You'll watch the game right here with Lennon J.D. on NBC Sports Chicago. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you in the studio. Local news should meet your expectations. It should be reliable, it should be experienced. And it definitely should be accurate. That's why the NBC5 News at 10 gives it to you straight. Keeping it local and giving you the facts, especially when they're breaking. Because there's nothing more important to all of us than getting it right. We share the same streets, cheer on the same teams. And deal with the same weather. We bring you news you can trust because that's what we all expect. Rob Stafford, Allison Rosati in the NBC5 News at 10. At Farmers Insurance, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything. Even a not-so-handy monster. What is going on in here? I can't hear myself think. What does it look like, sir? I am here to help you with your water heater. Oh. Oh. Do not worry, sir. I also fix cars. Oh. Oh. Rover is a monster of many talents. And we covered it. At Farmers, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Mm. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Is your business still settling for slow internet? Well, time is money. Switch to Comcast Business Now and get a great deal on fast, reliable internet with a 30-day money-back guarantee, installation when it works for you, and 24-7 customer support. So what are you waiting for? Get the fast, reliable internet your business really needs. Call 1-800-501-6000 today. Comcast Business. Beyond fast. Bullpen. Ghosting is bad. Don't ghost. Just tell them what's wrong. How much dogs do you have? I got seven dogs. Cubs win! Welcome to Bay vs. Ballplayer. Today, we are going to find out who knows Chris Bryant the best. All right, roll over. <laughs> you need something you can run to that makes you happy.
Why bother mastering something? Why hand tune an audio system? Why include the most advanced active safety system in its class, standard? Because when you want to create an entirely new feeling, the difference between excellence and mastery is all the difference in the world. The Lexus ES. Every curve, every innovation, every feeling. A product of mastery. Lease the 2019 ES350 for $379 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Shaping up nicely for Mr. Contreras here this afternoon, are they not? Deep to right for Rizzo! Grand slam! Grand slam! An absolute seed. <laughs> they're dancing, they're marching, they're doing whatever they're doing in the bullpen, but they're jogging around the bases here. and the Cubs on NBC Sports Chicago, home of the authentic fan. And another nice day here at Wrigley. The wind is blowing out once again. Not quite as hard as yesterday as the Cubs pounded out 17 runs a season high in an opening game win. Welcome to the booth along with Jim Deshays. I'm Len Casper. Cubs uh, setting the tone here on this 10-game uh, homestand as they beat the Pirates 17-8 yesterday, and it was all about the long ball. Yeah, it started ominously. The Pirates scored four runs in the top half of the first inning, but don't worry, the Cubs had an answer. They hit three of their five home runs in the first inning. It got started by Nick Castellanos after a Rizzo single. Castellanos went deep. Contreras, that's number one of his two. Here's a major league first. Rookie Nico Horner going straight away center field on the first pitch he ever faced at Wrigley Field. Here's number two for Contreras. You get the idea. On and on and on we go. Anthony Rizzo with the Cubs' 10th grand slam of the season. 19 times this year this club has scored 10 or more, more than any other team in Major League Baseball. And you see what they've done their last three in this ballpark against the Pirates. They have won six of seven versus Pittsburgh here. Uh, the good news is in terms of uh, the, the wild card race and everything uh, the Cubs were in good shape based on what happened last night but they're not any closer to the Cardinals. No Cardinals continue to play winning baseball they scored 10 runs yesterday they pitched a shutout. Uh, the good news is they beat the Brewers so the Cubs pick up a game on Milwaukee they stay four back of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals in the central they picked up ground on the Nationals, so just two and a half games behind Washington for that top wild card spot in the National League. Time now for Upwork Clutch off the bench. The bullpen uh, did its job yesterday. Remember the Pirates got a little close. Cubs added on and then Brad Wick and company finished it off. Yeah maybe lost in the shuffle a little bit with all the runs the Cubs scored but the bullpen was really good yesterday. Didn't need to use a lot of arms out there. Brad Wick came in phase three punched them all out and Alec Mills went the final three innings of the ball game. So despite the lopsided score he gets credited with the save for his effort yesterday afternoon and not only the good work by those two but it keeps everybody else fresh rolling into today's game and we know how baseball works you have great vibes after uh, putting up 17 runs and kind of a laugher yesterday but you reset today so it's all about the starting pitcher yeah, baseball is wacky and th this game kind of when you look at it on paper you think well this should be an easy win Kyle Hendricks is going today he's got the best or tied for the best ERA at home in all of Major League Baseball Monday in San Diego he went five and two thirds allowed just the one Ernie and for the Pirates they're starting a young right hander by the names of James Marvel who will be making only his second big league start. Marvel for the Pirates Hendricks for the Cubs as we get you set for the middle game of this weekend set we'll hear from Joe Madden Jason Hayward much more to come from Wrigley.
Lowe's knows you're the type who does it right, who knows a hobby can also be an investment. We do it right, too, with a lifetime warranty on Craftsman, so you can count on passing it down. Now save $20 on a Craftsman Mechanics tool set. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Nobody does spicy chicken like Wendy's. And now, spicy nuggets are back. Bring them back bring them so back. all hail the queen of spice. Hail the queen. That's right. Yeah. And get a free six-piece when you mobile order through bring the app. Them back, bring them back. Calling all doers. The ones who roll up their sleeves and get things done. Where others see obstacles, you draw inspiration. When others settle for the status quo, you advocate for change. Hello, friends. It's Colleen, and welcome to St. Xavier. If purpose and passion drive you, join us. Together, we'll forge the path to a brighter tomorrow. We're pretty different. We're all unique in our own ways. Somos muy diferentes. Muy diferentes. Verizon knows everyone in your family is different. There are so many of us doing so many different things. That's why Verizon lets everyone mix and match different unlimited plans. Crash is the gamer. So everyone gets what they need without paying for things they don't. The plan is so reasonable, they could stay on for the rest of their oh, lives. Oh, did you get that on camera? New plan started just $35. Our lowest price ever. Now with a free phone when you switch. The network more people rely on gives you more. And here we go, folks. It's your favorite hot dog bun, mustard, and overpriced watered-down beer. Are you sure you want to eat all that? Because you already weigh more than your team's batting average. Let's just toast to our anniversary. Oh, no, it's court. Let's just watch the game. I tweeted all of your friends to come over, but I guess no one showed up. That's okay. I invited one of your friends, too. Get out of here. Give a real anniversary gift this year. Escape to the Champagne Lodge in Willowbrook. Book your next special memory at the Champagne Lodge today. You know you deserve it. I grew up in Gary, worked in the steel mills, on the railroad, and the building trades, alongside other men and women who worked hard every single day. So when I became a lawyer, I made a commitment to build a firm that worked as hard as the people we represent, to win justice for those who've been injured or killed through negligence, to make our roads and work sites safer, preventing needless accidents from happening again. It's hard work, but it's also why year after year we're named among the best lawyers in America. Getting set for baseball game two of a three game series Pirates and Cubs Cubs still trailing the Cardinals by four in the National League Central and Joe's not too concerned about the wild card he wants to win the division. Our goal is to win the division so you want any kind of help you could possibly get to win the division so that would be that the Brewers would beat the Cardinals but I again it doesn't matter just the Cubs win the Cubs win we just got to take care of our own uh, house and if you do that this is all going to work out properly and so Rudy gets risked whatever I uh, yes I did look at the score by the time I went to bed last night uh, but it, there's I was much happier about the fact that we really swung the bats well yesterday and the bullpen was great uh, Bradwick looked really good and how about Millsy? Millsy does not get enough credit. I'm telling you man this guy can pitch. He um, he's very uh, cut from the same cloth as um, as Kyle Hendricks. He knows what he's doing. You see the the front door uh, on, the, on the lefties with the fastball and and the changeup and the slow curveball um, for a strike. I mean the guy knows how to pitch and he, he I'm, I'm been saying it for like two years now. I mean I really wa I love watching this guy pitch. Game in progress, man. I'm looking at my thing there, my, my card in my back pocket. I promise you it could be confusing at times. It really can. I mean, there's, there's cause you got to understand the speed with which things are happening. And you have choices. Um, and some are really closely cut choices with your guys. And then what are they going to do? And what is he willing to do? You don't even know what they're willing to do until they actually have, uh, have uh, attempted to do something differently. So there's all this uh, unknown uh, going on right now and then the really unfair uh, I think it's a lefty thing the the left on left thing is really where it, it rears its ugly head with the pitching versus your hitters where there are so many left-handed options they could just one on uh, a lefty and then move on to the next guy only because there's a glut so for a lot of different reasons it is a different game and I'm really pleased uh, with the idea of uh, making it more civil at the end of the year that's Cubs manager Joe Madden. And when we come back, Kelly Crow will chat with Jason Hayward. Stay with us.
there are times when we all need to celebrate. It's Chris Bryant, towering blast off the board. Benny's Beverage Depot, helping you celebrate the best times of your life. Do you even know what you're doing? Do not worry, sir. I also fix cars. Seen it? Covered it. At Farmers Insurance, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Experience unparalleled customer service in a world-class facility. Experience unprecedented selection of new and certified pre-owned Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles. Experience our state-of-the-art service facility. Staffed by top-rated Jaguar Land Rover technicians equipped with the newest diagnostic technology delivering unmatched precision and speed. Experience values that don't just meet your expectations, they exceed them. Experience the all-new Jaguar Land Rover Schaumburg. Welcome to the circle. Doug. And now for their service to the community, we present Limu Emu and Doug with this key to the city. It's an honor to tell you that Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. And now, we need to get back to work. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. When you put your family's name on everything you make, you make certain everything's just right. It's been that way for four generations with the Fellows family, and why every Fellows Shredder is tested to ensure it's the world's toughest. Fellows Shredders feature 100% jam-proof technology and are used by more businesses worldwide. So if you want precision engineering that stands the test of time, we're the Fellows to talk to. T-Mobile partners with MLB to bring fans everywhere closer to the game. Allowing fans to share highlights that seem impossible and memories that become unforgettable. Because baseball is more than a sport. It's America's game. And it's on America's network. T-Mobile, now connecting 99% of baseball fans. Field with this Miller Lite game report. Cubs looking to follow up that big 17 to 8 victory in game one against the Pirates, where they got contributions up and down the lineup across the board, including Jason Hayward's pinch hit three RBI double. And Hayward been a part of a lot of playoff pushes throughout his career. I had a chance to catch up with him, just get a feel for what he thinks the team is going through right now and what these next two weeks are going to look like. Enjoy right now. Um, may never get another time like it. It's a chance to go out here and compete, um, be playing for something, you know, have, have your backs against the wall, so to speak, but also mm -hmm. control your own destiny. Um, and, and we enjoy that. We get to play at home. We get to play here at Wrigley for one last home stand in the regular season, and just enjoy that push, you know, and, and enjoy these moments. These are going to be t division teams, of course, and after that, just. Just don't forget this time, because like I said, it's just a very unique time. Have fun, look around, take all the moments in, and, and enjoy this grind, because we know we got what it takes. Yeah, you mentioned have fun, enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Where can that come from when obviously you guys are also putting a little pressure on yourself? How could you not? Because y you have expectations that you want to achieve. I mean, that's what you want to have. You want to have pressure. You want to have expectation. I feel like we've... And that's just been a part of us. That's been a part of our DNA, uh, especially since I've been here. And we just go out there again, just, just look at those challenges and say, look what we've been through. Um, we know where we want to go. We know how hard that's going to be. We know how hard it is to get there. But uh, we just got to take it one day at a time. And, you know, I remember, you know, people always go back to 16, this and that, whatever. But, um, you know, after being down 3-1, um, you know, we came in the clubhouse after the game and said, act like we won three games in a row before. You know, which which we have, but that's just the mindset you got to have. It's just you know, we've been in tough spots before, but we got to keep playing baseball. There's games left, so for one, you better enjoy it because not everyone gets to be in this position. But mm -hmm. two, the challenge is what you ask for. 
you mentioned this group and just then the mindset of what was being down 3-1 in that series. Is there something or do we make too much of it to a group that has gone through those battles together before? And here you are again, a lot of similar guys who have done this. Is, is there something to that? Um, I mean, there, there absolutely is. It's, it's not on accident. You know, you, character is, is built off of being in moments like those. But, mm -hmm. man, we can't control what you know everyone is going through. I mean, I, I, feel, I feel for you guys, I feel for the <laughs> fans and, and media and whatnot because you guys go through that roller coaster. But, um, you know, for us, it's, it's a tough job. And but at the same time, it's a fun job and, and we do love it. And again, like I said, we we love these challenges and, and we can't go get caught up in the ups and downs. We know we got to play baseball. We know we got to have fun with it and, and just kind of enjoy this high. Last but certainly not least, and I want you to have fun with this if you can, because okay. a lot of people at home are wondering, knowing what's at stake for you guys, do you root for Brewers or Cardinals as you're watching no, them? <laughs> we, what I'm, do you I'm, want to I'm going to go earmuffs. We don't give a about what anybody <laughs> else is doing. Um, you know, we, we have enough fun right here with, with, with our group. We know what we can control, and after that, you know, we, we, we leave it all up to you know, whatever else is going on. But that's that's not that's out of our hands, and. Um, you know, we've we've done a lot of winning here, uh, unfortunately, and, and it, that's fun to be a part of. But along with that, is not worrying about what anybody else is doing, and and, that, and that's the fun part of this job, and fun part of being with a group of guys like this here. Always a pleasure getting to chat with you, Jason. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Hayward hitting seventh and playing center this afternoon, and this guy, Nico Horner, back at shortstop, and boy, was his debut at Wrigley. One he'll never forget. We'll see what he has in store this afternoon. Lynn and JD with first pitch on the way. This would be awkward if you were sharing these nachos with anyone but yourself. Nachos are now a meal with your choice of double the seasoned beef or slow cooked shredded chicken plus a medium drink. The $5 Grande Nachos Box, only at Taco Bell. Romance isn't dead. But it is here. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Don't hate like their trip. Book yours with Hotels.com and get rewarded basically everywhere. Hotels.com. Be there, do that, get rewarded. celebrated the fall of prohibition. Jim Beam didn't raise a single glass. He wanted his first drink to be of his own bourbon. He didn't have much money, but he did have a few friends, people who were raised the right way. Over 120 days, they rebuilt the distillery. And while their names might not be on our bottle, it's because of them we can raise this bourbon today. Jim Beam raised Ray. Tell him we're flexible. Don't worry. My Dutch is okay. Just okay? Mm-hmm. Deze man is erg super. Tell him we need this merger. And he heeft een knuffel nodig. Knuffel? It's happening. Just okay is not okay, especially when it comes to your network. AT&T is America's best wireless network according to America's biggest test. Now with 5G evolution, the first step to 5G. More for your thing. That's our thing. Cubs baseball on NBC Sports Chicago is brought to you in part by Lexus, who encourages you to experience amazing. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois, through it all. Ford, who invites you to go further in their fuel-efficient vehicles. Check out our entire lineup at your local Ford store or buyafordnow.com. Menards, save big money at Menards. And by Southwest Airlines, low fares, no hidden fees. That's transparency. 
picture perfect weather once again today here in Chicago game two of ten on this final homestand and the Cubs will finish up the regular season with six on the road home team takes the field behind right hander Kyle Hendricks who has the best home ERA in baseball. Now the Pirates Southwest starting lineup he will face. They're banged up. No Marte, no Bell, no Stallings today with various ailments. Newman and Reynolds, the uh, pretty impressive rookie tandem, however, go 1 2. Colin Moran will bat third and play third. Osuna is at first for Bell. Adam Frazier's been terrific against Cubs pitching this season. Pablo Reyes snapped an 0 for 12 with three hits. In the opener, Kevin Kramer will play left and bat seventh. Elias Diaz eighth, and James Marvel ninth. Cubs defensively brought to you by the Field Auto Group. Outfield alignment: Jason Hayward gets center. He's flanked by Schwarber and left Castellanos in right. Around the horn we go: Chris Bryant, Nico Horner, Ben Zobris, Anthony Rizzo behind the plate. On Wilson Contreras, we had two home runs yesterday. On the mound, the Lexus experienced amazing starting pitcher is Kyle Hendricks. 27 starts, he is 10 up and 9 down with a tree turdy tree earned run average. He's been really good against the Pirates, although he has a losing record against them. Run support's been an issue. He's going to come at them with fastballs, mostly sinkers, some four seamers, swing and miss change up. And occasional curveball, and from start to start, that curveball usage will vary. The crew chief is Alfonso Marquez. He's the first major league umpire from Mexico, now lives in Arizona. Dan Bellino is from Chicago. He'll work first base. That's Jeremy Rahack at second, and David Rackley over third. Cubs hold the second wild card spot. Four games behind the Cardinals in the division. St. Louis blew out the Brewers last night in St. Louis. So Kevin Newman steps in. The Pirates in last. Newman's done a very nice job in the leadoff spot for the Pirates, posting a 391 on base percentage. Yeah, that leads all major league hitters in that leadoff spot this season. He takes a strike. 360 road batting average is the best ever for a National League rookie and leads all NL batters 0 and 2. What a day here at the ballpark. right to Chris Bryant one down here in the first Hendricks wasting no time attacking with that 0 2 offering gets contact and efficient uh, first batter three pitches one out uh, this is a team now without Josh Bell today Marte has been dealing with a wrist issue not a lot of firepower in this lineup. Switch hitting Brian Reynolds has gone four for 39 versus the Cubs. That's a 103 batting average, 346 against the rest of the league. Ball one is outside. Clint Hurdle basically said we got what we deserved yesterday in terms of the Pirates pitching against Cubs hitting. Cubs put up 17 runs a season best. Pirates scored eight and they lost by nine runs. Yeah, they uh, they had a good day at the plate. You know, pitching part of it uh, was not good. 16 hits allowed, 10 walks issued. 2-0 is hit on a line to Jason Hayward in center.
Well, you mentioned Reynolds with not good numbers against the Cubs, but I bet you the quality of the contact uh, you would expect better. Makes, finds that barrel to the backside of the baseball quite often. Colin Moran did not get into yesterday's game. Left handed hitting third baseman. Hendricks 29. 6 3 190. Sixth season in the majors. Castellanos drifting and right on the edge of the track he makes the play a quick one two three start for Hendricks Cubs bats coming up next. Oh that's cute. Yeah. How many is too many bits? How does it fold? Doesn't look right. There it is. Oh. There you go. So when's a little lady do? In like four hours. Adoption. Yeah. Nonstop flights so you can be there when it matters most. Because an airline with heart takes care of yours. Dear Future, so good to see you. We're better than ever. And yeah, we brought the goods. Dig our high tech and sci fi style. Bring your sunglasses. The future is looking bright. Let's ride Toyota cars. Right now, you can lease a new 2020 Toyota Corolla for $179 a month. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Find huge savings now through Sunday during Menard's Crazy Day Sale. Save $10 per gallon after rebate on Pittsburgh Ultra interior or exterior paint and primer in one. Get an LED smart electrician shop light for $9.99 after rebate. This Patriot Lighting 48-inch LED ceiling fan is $44.99 after rebate. A Suncast deck box is $49.99. These deals are so crazy they're available in-store only while supplies last. So hurry in to save big during Menard's Crazy Day Sale. Save big money at Menard. Cubs Southwest starting lineup. They're two homers away from the single season club record of 235 set 15 seasons ago. Rizzo in the leadoff spot again. And look at what he's done lately here at Wrigley. Castellanos, a career 400 plus batter in the friendly confines. Bryant, Schwarber, Contreras, and Zobrist in the middle. Hayward, Horner, Hendricks rounded out. Pirates defensively brought to you by the Fields Auto Group. Kramer, Reynolds, Reyes left center right. Moran, Newman, Frazier, Osuna on the infield. Diaz behind the plate. He had a busy day yesterday. Pirates threw 206 pitches or some crazy number like that. The Lexus pursuing perfection starting pitcher is the rookie right-hander James Marvel. He's got a funky delivery. Yeah. Second time he's been on a big league mound. And a roll. Hit for Anthony Rizzo, leadoff man presented by Benny's Beverage Depot. And Benny's now donates $100 to the Greater Chicago Food Depository following that leadoff single. Pushed a little ground ball single to the left side of the infield yesterday to get things rolling. This time to the pull side. He, he finds a seam in the zone and gets himself a leadoff knock. 51st career game leading off. Before that hit 322 415 601 slash. He leads all actives hitting first in on base percentage and slugging with a minimum of 50 games in that spot. Side on Castellanos. He likes to sink that fastball. He's not an overpowering guy. Average fastball velocity right around 90 miles per hour, but he relies on location and movement. And he'll mix in a good number of curveballs and changeups as well. The Cubs have had all kinds of problems in the leadoff spot this season. They've had a bunch of guys try it. 
Maybe Rizzo is the answer. He's great at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's suboptimal in, in one respect. You'd like to have him in, a, in an RBI slot in the batting order, but the bottom line is, if if, if you win games, you score enough runs with him there, then you might as well leave him there. Well, one little tweak Joe could make at some point, which is something he's done uh, quite a bit over the years, is hit the pitcher eighth. The separation there before Rizzo comes up after he leads off the game. Two and one on Castellanos. 50 doubles, a career high. Tied for the major league lead, but he's hitting the ball out. Of the ballpark as well. Ten career home runs at Wrigley and 92 at bats. It's a Ruthian pace. Yeah. That reference is to a fellow by the name of Babe Ruth. That was a famous baseball player many years ago. 2-1 in the air to center, and it'll be handled by Reynolds. He's going to fire it back to first, but late. What do we know about James Marvel? 6'4, 205, 25 years old. Yeah. He's out of Duke University, graduated, drafted in 2015, 36 round. He was hurt at the time, likely would have gone higher. And uh, a little up this year, double A and triple A, 16 and 5 with a 2.94 ERA. He's got a birthday coming up in three days. He turned 26. Is from Moraga, California. That's in the Bay Area, east of Oakland. Low on Bryant. And uh, I have it on good authority that he will attack the Cub hitters today. He will be aggressive. I, I bumped into his dad after dinner last night, who I never met before, and he was nice enough to come up and say, Hey, my son's pitching against the Cubs tomorrow. I said, That's really fun. I said, yeah, well. Get after it. Interesting timing because during the game broadcast yesterday, you said, I don't know if I'd want this kid to watch what's going on yeah, today. I, I think his dad either heard that or caught wind of it because that's what he said. He said to me, he'll, he'll be okay. He, he'll, he'll not shy away. He'll, he'll get after it. Triple A teammates call him Captain or Cap. With that great surname. One ball, one strike. Right side is open. He was nine and five with a three-one-zero at Double A. We call him up to Triple A. He made seven starts and won them all with a two-point-six-seven ERA. Sixteen minor league wins, leading all pitchers. Saw this note on Stephen Brault from yesterday. First modern era starter to allow 10 earned and give up five homers in less than three innings. He said, Every mistake I made was a home run. 1 2 to Bryant is in tight. Two balls, two strikes. And wind is blowing out again, but not nearly as hard. Flags were really whipping yesterday. It's a land of opportunity for Pirates pitching right now. They've had a rough go of it. They've had injury issues. They've had ERA issues. Five, Five ten. ten. Man, that's the worst for a pirate staff since 1953. Now their starters have posted a 5-3-3 ERA. It's the third highest in team history. Yeah. The team that's been playing since the 1880s. Really and they've done serious. this. 
Twenty seven times they allowed ten or more. They series made a lot of trips to the mound this year. Base hit to left. Two on. One out. Here comes Kyle Schwarber. Who did not participate in the home run parade yesterday. Good work by Bryant to hit that elevated pitch on a line. Singles here in the first. Pirates win in order. Marvel has the sign. Hands low. And the pitch. Too high. Pirates defensive shift brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. And there you see the Cubs base runners. Field deep, especially Reyes and Wright. Two and zero, oh the count. Probably Diaz probably was going to get the day off today. Sorry, JD, but uh, Jacob Stallings has a back issue. Diaz caught the whole game yesterday. I'm guessing they wanted a veteran to work with Marvel. They do have Stephen Barron here as well. Yeah, he could have used, uh, speaking of Diaz, the day off today. He got beat up yesterday. That's a strike. Schwarber swing and a miss and a change up well executed back to back change ups and that's how they attacked Kyle yesterday uh, McCray the second pitcher I believe it was came in and I think like three or four in a row he's not quite Josh Cole mentor his delivery kind of reminds me of him he takes his head off to the side and over the top delivery. Yeah, foul probably, ball. probably not as severe as the old axe thrower, Josh Colmenter, who was straight over the top. But yeah, certainly high three quarters delivery, and the kind of way he breaks down that backside. That's uh, somebody's head. Two of them actually. I assume it's the same person, just two yeah. versions. That's those folks in the green shirts. Maybe, maybe they're celebrating him today. Yeah. That's a group out there. Call 1 800 group tickets. Marvel taking a lot of time here with men on base. Throughout his minor league career, pretty good at inducing ground balls. Let me get a double play, get out of this predicament. Couldn't get him to bite. That's probably a pitch he's gotten a lot of double A and triple A hitters to swing and miss. And tougher at this level. And look at that delivery. It's a good miss. Kind of high front side hides the ball. And again, you're not overpowering. You got to have something else going for you. A little deception to go along with uh, movement. 
the ball hit well for an out. Bryant almost all the way to second will race back to first. So both outs in the inning have been line outs. And it'll bring up Wilson Contreras the catcher. It's always good to have a little good fortune going your way as well. So a couple hard knocks for outs. Two homers for Wilson yesterday. He has two doubles and four homers in six games since returning from the IL. Steps out. And a chance to welcome all our viewers watching on Nova Cable Vision in Lake Bracken, Illinois. Statcast AI is powered by AWS. Two of the uh, three longest home runs of his season. The information is good, but the visual is better. It looks cool. Two and zero. Oh. breezed through the top of the first on eight pitches. Marvel now at 20. With two outs in the bottom. Two all change up and I think that's going to be his M.O. He's not going to want to give in. The heater on fastball counts against middle of the order guys. You expect to see that off speed pitch a fair bit when he's behind. That would just be my guess. What 30% of the time in his last start. Hard hit grounder. They'll get the out at second. That's Newman to Frazier. And Chris. A little slow to get up. Hope he's all right. Cubs strand two scoreless after an inning. Next day shipping, getting what you need the same day. With Ace, you can buy online and get free store pickup or get it delivered that day. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. You're going to need a new toothbrush. So I've been living with AT&T for a while now. The internet speeds I'm getting aren't exactly the ones listed in their ads. AT&T, why am I paying the same price for a fraction of the speed you advertise? You're saying you want fast internet. Yeah. Buckle up. Stop living with AT&T. It's time to switch to Xfinity. Ask about download speed up to 400 megabits per second or even faster, up to one gig. Click, call, or visit a store today. Ford Fusion. Drive it for about 18,757. That's 6,358 in savings. Or get 0% financing for 60 months. 
As you enjoy a cold Miller light, look forward to the whole the true moment later in today's game. Scoreless tie as the Pirates will bat here in the second inning. What a day to be at the ballpark. Oh, My man. goodness. Never gets old. Osuna playing first. Off to a very slow start here in September. Winning 133. 0 for 4. Walked two runs yesterday. He uh, did not play in that August series against the Cubs in Pennsylvania. He was serving a five game suspension for his part in that nasty brawl with the Reds. Some birthday wishes today. Liz Sprigler and Rock for the happy 78th. Betty Tussler, happy 92nd. Center makes the catch. When you think of Kyle Hendricks, you think of a, a ground ball pitcher, but as he has evolved and as the game has changed, he's become less of a ground ball pitcher. He's shown the ability to work up in the strike zone effectively. As hitters have emphasized getting that low ball in the air. You have to adapt and adjust. To survive at this level, and he's done a very nice job of it. And he's the kind of guy who, back in the day, scouts would watch him pitch and probably say, There's no way he can compete at the top of the strike zone and above. He just doesn't throw hard enough. One and on Adam Frazier. And fouls away. Tom Prince is the Pirates bench coach. He wanted us to give a shout out to his uncle Jeff McDonald. He says keep fighting uncle Jeff. Tom is from the area. And Kankakee. Tom Prince had a 17 year major league career. Long time backup catcher. Swing and a miss on the changeup. The styrofoam cup just never gets there. Into center field. That's a base hit for Adam Frazier. So he keeps swinging against the Cubs. Frazier this year. <laughs> He's had some big games. Two hits yesterday. Had a 10 hit four game series in July against the Cubs. Right, he made a nice adjustment, didn't he? Out in front of the first change at this time, he stays back, stays long through the zone. The pitch was up a little bit, which helped his cause. Nice adjustment by Frazier. Hitting over 360 versus the Cubs this season. Here's Reyes. Reyes eight career games here at Wrigley Field. Double triple two homers and a 909 OPS. He takes a strike. Wind has picked up a little bit. <laughs> oh and two. Frazier not really a base stealer. He's stolen four, but he's also been caught four times. John Lester got the win yesterday. He gave up seven runs in five innings. Only four were earned. Number four in the first before the Cubs stormed back. 
That is rolled into right. And Frazier's going to try for third, and the throw is late. And because of that throw, Reyes able to advance to second. Yeah, and I think if Nico cuts that ball, he's got to play on Reyes yep. at second base. He just kind of pounded his glove in frustration after the fact. And it's certainly a play at this stage of the ball game. If you know you've got that out on the back runner, go ahead and take it. This is, this is well done by Castellanos. The throw is low. Reyes does not stop. And I think if Nico cuts that, he's got a real shot at Reyes at second base. They were not going to get Frazier at third. That was a nice piece of hitting by Reyes. That was an 0 2 hit. And I believe Hendricks hit his spot. It was off the plate. I hate giving up 0 2 hits. There's Kevin Kramer. Yeah, and I don't know why that's the case because as long as you're making a good pitch, an 0 2 hit shouldn't hurt any more than a 3 1 hit. <laughs> hit is a hit. Swing and a miss. Greg Maddox used to talk about attacking on 0 2. It's when you've got the, the hitters in a vulnerable position. And I think more so against dangerous hitters. At the middle of the order guys, if you get the jump on them, press your advantage. He probably feels like he, he let Reyes off the hook a little bit. Spoiled a good pitch. Kramer hacking here in an RBI spot. Speaking of John Lester, I failed to mention it the other day. He is the Cubs Roberto Clemente Award nominee. And that is well deserved. And hopefully he'll he'll win that award. Each team has a uh, a player who's nominated. Anthony Rizzo has won that major league award, but uh, John and his wife Farah do a lot of work. They never quit. Yeah, foundation yeah. raise money to uh, help fight childhood cancer and find out around World Series time whether he wins that award or not I got a feeling uh, whether he wins it this year or not somewhere along the line he will he's yep. done a lot of great work I'm sure all the nominees have Would love a strikeout. And he gets it on the changeup. Perfectly executed on the plate, dipping down below the knees. So that one off the plate, you're probably not going to get the chase. It looks awfully good heading towards home plate. It's the kind of pitch you could tell him it's coming and he still might not hit it. Here's Diaz with two down. Uh oh, that young man to Gallagher way. <laughs> he just stretch his legs. Castellanos breaks the running grab and the Pirates do not score. Nothing, nothing midway in the second. I just ran it. Those can't be dry. Huh. Huh. That's why we got a new one. A dishwasher with Dry Boost that dries up to three times better. Another way we make good things for life. Refrigerators, ranges, dishwashers, and more. See the full line of GE appliances at APT. Pleasing people since 1936. Research shows only 14% of drivers plan to go off-road. But that doesn't mean the Honda CRV can't handle a few unexpected bumps. After all, we don't know how extreme you plan to get. The Honda CRV, with available real-time all-wheel drive with intelligent control system, part of U.S. News and World Report's best SUV brand. Make the big leap. 
even if you have your doubts. Take small steps, especially if they're easy. Wash your beard daily to reduce gray gradually. Just use it until you like what you see to get subtle, natural-looking results. And always be open to new firsts. Like Control GX from Just For Men, the first and only gray-reducing beard wash. Be the better man you are and look the part. You can follow our Cubs insider Tony Andraki on NBCSportsChicago.com presented by Nationwide Agent Jeff Vukovic. Enjoy getting to know Vuk as much as you do. The jingle Nationwide is on your side. Monday, September 23rd, it's time to stand up to the powerful and fight back. Jimmy Smits and introducing Caitlin McGee. In Bluff City Law, Monday, September 23rd on NBC. Isn't this uh, the point where we get a shot of Jimmy and Caitlin in the stands watching the game? <laughs> ben Zobrist hitting sixth today. He's been bumped by Rizzo from the leadoff spot. All right, little man. Can't settle in right now. He's a little anxious. He just needs to travel a little bit. Well, Marvel uh, allowed a couple hits and a couple loud outs in that first, but he's able to get through it unscathed. There was a lot of scathing going on yesterday. My goodness. Stephen Brault, the starter who had been on a nice roll until the start before yesterday. And then yesterday has really seen his ERA take a big big jump. Ten earnings and two and two thirds. Ground ball will get into left. Moran playing well off the line. Zobrist will be held to a single. Cubs third hit. He had thoughts of two bases, but well played by Kramer and left. Get over there, get it back in in a hurry. Let's play Cosmo. <laughs> get he up. Here's Hayward, came off the bench, smoked a three run double. Six games, nine hits, three walks, three doubles, three home runs. His previous 12, he was three for 42. Good to see him turn things around. Rocking those cool red shoes today. Diving stop, Frazier, they get one relay. Not in time on a close play. Adam Frazier robbing Hayward of a base hit. Must be the shoes. Hit it by half a step, perhaps. Heck of a play here by Frazier. That brings up the rookie, Nico Horner. Two four RBI games among his first five, including his Wrigley Field debut yesterday. Breaking ball is off the inside corner. Stanford man in the batter's box, a, a dookie on the mound. Fine institutions here doing battle. Good slide and block by Diaz. Nico at double A this year batted 284. Very low strikeout rate. Didn't walk a ton.
Hitters count here, and the pitch line to right. Good read by Hayward. All ready to third. Uh, it's one of the uh, impressive things about Nico Horner, his ability to hit the ball all over the field. You go back to his debut when he had the three-hit game. Mm -hmm. One to right, one to center, one to left. And watch him here pull the hands in on a ball that's moving in on him. He hammers this ball to right field. The Cubs go first and third. Set up shop here for Hendricks. Nice play by Reyes. Also, that's keep Hayward from scoring and no Horner to a single. It's just smart baseball to try to hit the ball middle away in that situation because you're trying to keep it off the ground. To the pull side, you're much more likely to hit it on the ground. What? Does Joe want to do here with Kyle Hendricks? Squares. He bunts. Fair ball. He'll get the out at first. It will be a sacrifice. Porter advancing to second. And Diaz knew he had time to make sure Hayward wasn't going anywhere. This is a replay for Hayward. If it's far enough from home plate, he thinks he can score. Go ahead. Otherwise, just retreat. Get that second man into scoring position where you have two guys now for Rizzo. Second and third for Rizzo. Here's your RBI spot. Yep. He's got a base open. He's got Castellanos behind him. Regardless of base out situation, I don't think Marvel's going to be overly aggressive with Rizzo. We'll try to get him to chase. Expand a little bit, maybe feature a number of change ups. Show me. Trying to give the Cubs the lead. Just off the corner. Paying a little extra attention to the iconic sounds of the Wrigley Field organ on this last home stand. Gary Pressey announcing today he's going to retire following 33 seasons. Ouch. Rizzo gets hit. Base is loaded. Does he get to take the organ with him? Tweeting earlier today. That's a good question. What a run! Unbelievable. Cal Ripken of organist. And as great as he is at his job, he's a better human being. Huge baseball fan, and we're gonna miss him. He reminded me when we chatted before the game. He said, This season's far from over. Strike to Castellanos. Bases loaded, two outs. Cubs uh, had what, three or four bases loaded opportunities in the game yesterday. That's what they had. Four times, and they delivered. Three of the four occasions. Into the corner. Here comes Hayward. Corner. Rizzo. Cubs lead three nothing. RBI number or a double rather number fifty one for Castellanos. That's a pick your poison situation. He fell behind Rizzo, uh, hit him with the breaking pitch, had to get after Castellanos, and Nick makes him pay. And this ball in the left field to clear the bases. Fired up, Butter. Get it cranked up.
Nice little cushion for a man with a 177 home ERA. He had been tied with a couple of Red Sox, Bogarts and Devers, and now has sole possession of the lead in 51. Second. Curve strike. Chris slow to get up after making the final out at second in the bottom of the first. It's still in the game, fortunately. Two. One of the interesting things about yesterday's game is the Cubs put up 17 runs. They only scored in three separate innings. Five in the first, five in the third, and then touchdown with the extra point in the fifth. The impact of shift on ground ball batting average. This will make the seats. Yes, lost 20 points. Those ground balls in the, the shift. That's why teams do it. Strikeouts. Two and two. So, do you know he's lost twenty points to his average due to the shift? Little blooper. It's in there. Castellano scores. And it's four to nothing. Uh, and, and, you know, continuing the theme of yesterday, where everything, you know, they, they weren't hitting it out of the ballpark. Everything in play, whether it's hit hard or not, seemed to find a hole. This is actually a good pitch by Marvel. He, he's been working down. He elevates a little bit, induces weak contact, a little pop up. It turns into a knock and a run battle in for KB. His 70th RBI. Castellanos has 70 after knocking in three. And the batter is Schwarber. Hit a bullet to center for an out in the first. Takes a strike. Betty Peters is at the ballpark today 96 years old. It is her first Cubs game in person. How about that. Took you so long Betty. You know when you have a game like the Cubs had yesterday scoring all those runs typically the next day starting pitcher would be in the dugout saying hey save some of those for me. And apparently they did. One. 
one and two to Schwarber. Four runs in in the second. Sharply hit grounder. It's the shortstop on the other side of the bag. Newman to make the play. Cubs four. Pirates nothing after two. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. Any accounts and descriptions from this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. I'm Wilson Contreras, and if you need a personal injury lawyer, go Howard. For car rideshare accidents, work injuries, or any other type of injury case, give me a call. I'm here to help. Who 3126 million in your phone now for what you need, Howard? Injury law made personal. That's Aiken Law. Sam Adams Oktoberfest. It's back. Rich, malty, and smooth. It's everything you love about fall in one sip. Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Get it while it's here. That you know, friend, it's cause every time that you go in, you start all over again. Thank you for supporting our mission. You always amaze me. You always. I need your help. After this, we are less than even. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. You think you can take John Wick? You've got a nasty surprise coming. Rated R. Buy or rent today and watch anytime, anywhere on your favorite screens with DirecTV Cinema. Movie start at channel 125. We moved to the third here at Wrigley with this Miller Lite game report. Nico Horner, part of that four-run second inning for the Cubs, collecting another hit, and he spoke about his Wrigley debut yesterday, which he said was absolutely amazing. It was everything he had hoped it would be. He had really hyped it up to his parents, having seen one game here last year, and he goes, it definitely lived up to the hype. And speaking of that home run ball, of course, on the first pitch of his first A.B., they retrieved it from the shrubs there in the batter's eye. Right there, you can see someone from the grounds crew, and he has the ball, and he said it was awesome. It was all scratched up. There was dirt on it, which makes the story even more special. And Lynn and J.D., I'm really looking forward to we are going to catch up with his mother here later this afternoon. Oh, yeah. Very Mom nice. Talk. Mom Thank talk is always good. One and one on Marvel. One and two. Hole for one with a strikeout at this level. One seventy nine career minor league hitter. And a strikeout for Hendricks is second. Cub fans do you want tickets to see the Cubs at Wrigley Field next season your chance to secure tickets. To your must have matchups for the 2020 season is here. Visit Cubs.com slash deposits to learn more. Newman rounded out to start the game. Pirates had two on and both in scoring position no less with one out in the second but Hendricks escaped. Three hits in the ball game for Newman yesterday. That'll get in there. A one out single. Now Brian Reynolds. Not unlike the uh, Horner swing. Head on it. Whole field approach. Positive result.
makes the change up low. Reynolds on her play today batting 323 fourth best batting average in the National League. Outside chance that he could win a batting title as a rookie. Pete Alonso has a good shot of leading the league in home runs as a rookie. Mike Soroka could lead the league in ERA. Wouldn't that be something? All well, those things happen. I'm going to assume that's uh, never happened before. And probably Can't imagine. Close to happening before. Well, no National League rookie has won a batting title. Soroka has posted a 2.57 ERA. He is second in the National League behind Hyunjin Ryu's 2.45. Newman can run. He's got 15 steals. Ferris wants a change up. This is the outside. Trevor Williams for the Pirates tomorrow. Jose Quintana for the Cubs to wrap up the series. And the Reds come calling. The Reds beat the Diamondbacks last night in Arizona. Lazy fly to right. Castellanos has it. Newman will hold it first. Two down. Hendrick kills you softly, doesn't he? Three-one count. You're thinking you might get a heater. A little change up. You're out in front. Lazy fly ball. Moran flied to right in the first. Five for his last 34. That's not very good. He had a five hit game against the Cubs earlier this season. The slump he's been in, a little funk he's been in, comes on the heels of a very hot streak. Hitting the 12 consecutive. Recently faced his brother Brian, his older brother Brian, a lefty, making his big league debut. Colin was the second batter he faced, and he rings him up on a breaking ball. Colin said, Come on, man. Pretty cool moment. Zobrist has it on the backhand, and that's it for the Pirates in the third. A shutdown frame for Hendricks. Cubs lead 4 0. make room for new model year Kias, so come check out your favorites. Right now, you can get 0% APR for 75 months on many 2019 vehicles or 4,000 customer cash on select 2019 models. And with 12 IIHS top safety picks, you'll find the Kia that's perfect for you, all with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Ooh, I think we found it. Or did it find you? Wow. Hurry in to Kia's summer clearance event today. Your old furnace is costing you money, and the Four Seasons preseason furnace sale is going on now. Get same-day installation of a new Lennox furnace from $18.95, furnace and AC combos from $37.95, and receive 0% interest financing for five years. Plus, we'll beat any competitor's estimate by up to $500. So call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No extra charge for nights, weekends, or holidays, and start saving today. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASONS. Nobody does spicy chicken like Wendy's. And now, spicy nuggets are back. Bring them back bring them so back. all hail the queen of spice. Hail the queen. That's right. Yeah. And get a free six-piece when you mobile order through the bring app. Back, bring them back. 
The rules of aging are changing. New jobs at any age, crushing it at every stage. Numbers don't define us. 25, 45, 65 is a state of mind. Dreams to seize, more opportunities, disrupting aging. Behind all this changing is AARP, opening doors for you, for me. Too old, too young, nah, uh weirdness is one. So let's take on today and every day with AARP, real possibilities. Cubs lead 4 0. They'll bat here in the third, looking for their third consecutive win. Contreras, Zobrist, and Hayward. And time now for the American Family Insurance Dream of Fearlessly, as Contreras has done some terrific work since coming back from his second IL stint, the hamstring. Facing James Marble. And the first pitch strike on a curve. Marble out there fighting for his life now. He's already given up four runs on six hits. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. Does he do the same number of pumps every time? No, I don't think so. He counted. Is that a way to upset the hitter's timing? You know, don't do it every time. Do it a handful of times. Obviously, with a man on base, you can't do it. up his first strikeout of the day. Fans now have the ability to purchase 50-50 raffle tickets online within the Chicago city limits when half of the net proceeds from the game's raffle ticket sales. The other half benefits Cubs charities. Visit Cubs.com slash raffle to secure your tickets. Zobrist a single one for one. The Orioles beat the Tigers in Detroit six to two last night. It's the first matchup in 50 years of teams both 50 or more games under 500. The last time it happened it was an expansion matchup in 1969 when the Expos played in San Diego in late August of that year. The others were in 1886. High drive, well hit. Gone! Number one. Zobrist has now homered in every major league season. Cubs hit five long ones in the ball game yesterday. Number one here today comes from Ben Zobrist. Big smile for Zorilla. He in 2006 and has hit at least one in all 14 seasons. Ford home run replay. It's five to nothing here in the third. Inside on Jason Hayward. That's a strike. Side corner. I have to say, uh, despite getting hit around a little bit here, I, I do like Marvel's approach. He, he, you know, he's not backing off. He's 
Not taking a lot of time between pitches. Continues to compete. So they call him Captain. I, I would go with the Mustang. Marvel the Mustang. I always wanted one of those when I was a little guy. <laughs> He's almost like real. Two and two. Just he's not getting many bites on his changeup. Cubs is doing a real nice job. Grass calls it in. Two outs. Here's Horner. What a day here at the ballpark. Well, it's a sprint to the finish line now. The Cubs. This is game two of this ten-game homestand. A lot of folks are conflicted. They don't know whether to cheer for the Cardinals or the Brewers. Well, Joe made it pretty uh, clear. He's rooting against the first place team. Ben Zobris with his first of the season. Gently lays the bat down. Five nothing Cubs after three. Introducing Color Snap Color ID from Sherwin Williams. Color palette curated just for you. No matter what size adventure you're into, the award winning family of Hyundai SUVs has something that'll make everyone happy. We get it. That's a lot to drool over. Hyundai. The longer you look, the more there is to like. Get 3750 in total savings on the Tucson or 0% APR for 72 months on the Tucson or Santa Fe. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Yes! Loser buys lunch. <laughs> go, 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 go! Okay, go. Jack. USAA Bank has you covered. Thanks, Chief. Nice and easy. Hop in. Don't sweat it, Sergeant. With no monthly service fees, you've been saving a little extra. That means more for corn dogs and maybe some practice. USAA Bank helps you save a little more money for when it matters. Find help at every turn with USAA Bank. I got it! Cubs before the Pirates bat in the fourth. A word from your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Honda dealers. Research shows only 14% of drivers plan to go off road. But that doesn't mean the Honda CRV can't handle a few unexpected bumps. After all, we don't know how extreme you plan to get. The Honda CRV, with available real time all wheel drive with intelligent control system. Part of US News and World Report's best SUV brand. Full house today as the uh, Cubs continue this homestand. Game two of 10. Game 10 of an 18 game stretch, season long without an off day. Yeah. 
Called strike on Jose Osuna. And on the hands, and Osuna fouls it away. Frazier on deck. Here comes a one two from Hendricks. Hit hard and foul. Mets are still in this wild card chase. They're three games behind the Cubs. As we begin play today, they host the Dodgers tonight. And we're talking about a pitching matchup Ryu and DeGrom. They lost last night. Hendricks over to cover. Oh, he got him. Wow. Wow. Right. I'm thinking that might yeah. get another look. That, that, that felt very safe. Usually I wait for the umpire to make the call, but I jumped the gun on that one. Sorry, Dan Bellino. But yeah, he missed that one, and they'll review it. Replay review brought to you by Restore. Get your hair back. Text SCORE to 31311. That's SCORE to 31311. Even the uh, crowd. Even safe. <laughs> the, the crowd typically <laughs> cheers, right? When yeah. you get the out, everyone went, ooh. Bolino's going to get on that headset. Hey, hey, guys, do me a favor. Take a little time with this, would you? Pretend that it wasn't a slam dunk miss. So much for that. <laughs> and the run of shame back to the first base. Well, umpires at this point are used to it, and they want to get it right. I would imagine that Dan, as soon as he made the call, something went off in his brain and said, yeah, I think I missed that one. And that's the beauty of replay. It bails them out, too. Well, I think Jim Joyce, now retired, wishes we had this replay back when uh, the Galarraga game. Yeah. Yeah. That took away missed a that no ball first base. Was, yeah. it, was it a no no or a perfect it game? It might have been perfect. I can't remember. Armando Galarraga. Pirates have two on with nobody out. Frazier.